Welcome to Eco Ask Why and another Straight Talk with Chris episode. And today, I'm going to talk about the importance of networking. Now, when I asked my daughters what networking was in, a, in my hero episode, Chloe said, well, I think it, in network people who work on net. So that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about networking for your career and making those meaningful connections. Because one thing from the many guests that we've interviewed in all the hero conversations they all talked about the importance of networking. And I wanted to take some of those ideas that I've learned from those guests over the last two years and give you a few tips that you can start implementing right now as you grow your network. Because you may be looking for some mentors in your journey. So maybe these tips will help you. So tip number one, use social media appropriately. I'm going to say it again, appropriately, okay? So what I'm saying Learn the platform first and foremost. You need to know how to search for possible connections and the groups that may be meaningful and that will help you, okay? There are free training courses out there right now that are online that will walk you through the best way to navigate these platforms. Now, for navigating for your career, highly recommend LinkedIn. It's a great way to connect and learn from others. So LinkedIn has great learning modules. You can They're free. You can hop on them. And you can, you can really figure out how to navigate and use that platform to help you. Now, one thing you can do on LinkedIn is follow people. So maybe you actually, instead of trying to do a direct connection, you follow them. And then you learn from them. And a great way to engage is if you're following someone, actually leave a comment that's meaningful. Now, I'm throwing that meaningful in there because we don't want to just comment, great, exclamation point. That actually it hurts the algorithm it's much better if you actually leave a sentence or two sentences of what you found value in and how you appreciate that. Because you never know. That may spark some interest in that person and there may lead to a connection. Okay? Number two, post something for crying out loud. You know, I just, it, it's crazy how many people are on these platforms. They're looking, they're scrolling, they're liking. Maybe they'll put a comment, but nobody ever posts. It's okay. Post. Don't overthink it. If you're out there, you have experiences, advice, and guidance that will help people. So stop overthinking it and just put yourself out there and focus on bringing value to others. So if you think, how will this help someone versus how will this help me, that should be your filter because it shouldn't be about you. It, your, your post and your content should be how you help other people how they get better. So if you put it through that lens, you'll do a great job. So hit record, post. You don't need a, a big camera and a studio or things like that. You probably have an iPhone or Android. Turn it on, capture some video, post some content that you think are, will help other people. Okay? And number three for networking, join some groups. And I'm talking about groups of your career interests. Okay? So there's so many groups on LinkedIn right now on different interests and different per perspectives from control, in, control engineers to automation to power to the cybersecurity, the IT, OT, whatever floats your boat, I guarantee you there are groups and subgroups that have co people of common interest that you can connect with and bring tremendous value. You know, and if you don't connect with the right groups out the, bat, out the gate, Try some more. So I'm challenging you right now. Go find three groups this week, connect with them, and then see what you can learn from them. And you know what? If, if it doesn't work out, maybe those groups aren't too engaged. Go find three more. You know, you're never you're never tied to it completely. So get out there. Use the network. You know, networking these days has really shifted. You know, so much is being done virtually. So you need to learn how to network virtually. You know, the days of the, the trade shows, and things, that stuff's coming back, but slowly. But throughout all this, I think it's, it's showing the importance of connecting with people online because you need to be able to do that to grow your career. So I want you to challenge my thinking. You know, with every Straight Talk with Chris episode, challenge my thinking. What other tips are out there that you've learned that maybe help this helped your network grow? And the question I want to leave you with today is what are you going to do right now? to grow your network and find the people that's going to help your career 
continue to grow and blossom. You can do it, but you got to take action. So if you're liking the Straight Talk with Chris episodes, please leave us a five-star rating. Write a review. It really helps. I know I sound like a broken record, but those really do help. Also, you know about the war stories. I've been talking about them. They're still coming in. They're great. We're getting a lot of really cool ones. I'm excited. Mr. Tim Wilburn gave us one that I just cannot wait to share with people. So some fun stuff out there. So please give us those war stories. We need them. We want them. So you know how I'm going to end this. Keep asking why. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit EcoSY.com. That's E-E-C-O-A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com. 